What's up, y'all? It's Friday, and I'm obviously not at work. It's like Friday night, and I had a boring week. I just did training, and I'm going to show y'all later this weekend, but I have to pack an aid bag because the training I'm in is like for my job, and you have to do it every year. It's like nothing new to me, but the weird part is, is they let us fill up a trash bag to like bring home to fill up our aid bag, which like isn't like weird in a bad way. It's kind of cool because no one wanted to like stay and have to fill up their aid bag. But I'm just going to pack it and I kind of think like I'm going to record it and show y'all. I don't know. But um, I got my headphones and I got my water. I just took my pre-workout um, and I'm just going to go to my apartment gym. That's literally where I've been going all week. Um, that's not my usual thing, but uh, I've been getting out super early all week and I've been hungry or something like that when I get out. And then my kickboxing gym has weird hours and they're not open um, until like four o'clock. They're closed from like one to four. so. Couldn't go there, but um, yeah, about to walk up there, do a little workout, and then I have no plans this weekend except for I have to do the aid bag thing for training, and then I have to, oh yeah, important, I have to do my statistics homework. So I have stuff to do, it's just nothing fun. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom actually, um, in the, what's it called? Like the leasing office, the, wherever the gym is. But um, I'm already starting to feel like a crackhead and that's pretty much how I gauge that like my pre-workout is working. So I'm feeling like a crackhead and it's about time to go ham. I'm about to do legs and yeah. Also, I wore my glasses up here because I was getting a headache, but I don't wear them when I work out, so. I'm done with my workout. Um, my workout was good. I was there for like a long time. It's freaking dark outside as y'all can see. But um, I, so when it comes to working out, I currently am on kind of like a fitness strength journey and like trying to get more stability. Like a year and a half ago, I had surgery on my hip and ever since then i've been trying to gain back everything that i had before i had the hip injury before i had surgery but i'm kind of on this like journey of getting back to like loving to work out and being in a really good place like fitness wise obviously because i have to be but um also like working on toning and losing weight for the army anyways Y'all don't want to hear about that. That is a conversation for another day. Any girl in the army can tell you. We got stuff to say about that. But anyways, I'm actually, I think I'm going to try to pack the stuff today, tonight. Because my statistics homework is due on Sunday. And I'm not the greatest at math. And so I want to be able to do that tomorrow and then... Sunday. That's why I want to like do it because there's so much space and I just brought the freaking stuff inside that I told y'all it was in a trash bag. I'm about to show y'all what the heck it looks like and you're going to be like what the actual heck. Okay. This is the stuff right here. That trash bag is full of medical stuff. It's full. I felt like freaking Santa Claus carrying that thing in from my car over like this. I felt like freaking Santa Claus. But um, I'm gonna show y'all everything and then start to like pack it up. 
So for those of you that aren't in the army or aren't medical in the army, this is basically what the inside of an aid bag looks like. Or like this is a version a lot of people use because it's light. I already have some stuff in here. But basically the aid bag, for those of you that don't know, if you do if you do know, then I'm not trying to like insult anyone's intelligence. I'm just explaining to the people that don't know. But this is basically used by medics when they're in a field environment or in an austere environment or whatever the situation is in order to render like trauma care to like a trauma casualty in like a combat setting or whatever it is. So it's just full of like trauma related stuff that you need, obviously for like various injuries and stuff like that. That's why I kind of have like emergent stuff right here that you would need for like bleeding and airway and breathing and all that stuff. And then obviously I'm gonna fill it up with all the freaking stuff that I gather, just different stuff to put in here so that I can make it. It's obviously for practice and training, so everything has been used and a lot of stuff is open and it wouldn't normally be open, but I'm gonna fill up this bag and then it's gonna be packaged up and I'll use it during my training next week. But yeah, so you just put different stuff in these little pouches and there's no like set way to do it. Everyone has their own little way to do it. It's just whatever's convenient for the medic makes the most sense and you know where everything's at. That's kind of why they let us bring the stuff here. That way we're able to package it up and actually know where the stuff is at. Good morning y'all it's sunday morning and sundays are my day to literally be lazy and that's kind of what i'm doing today except i have to do my schoolwork. i've been talking about it i have to do it i've been procrastinating so i have my laptop and i have my calculator Hey guys, what's up? It's Monday morning and why are you in my face? It's Monday morning and I'm chilling. Wait, y'all, I'm crazy. I keep saying it's Monday morning. It's not Monday morning, it's Monday night. 
Um, pretty much my day was woke up, went to work. Um, I had like my training, I have it until tomorrow. And then we did like mass cow stuff. And then we did like another little test out thing. Um, and then I got so tired because we were outside in the heat, we were carrying like the heavy ass dummies. So then when I came home, um, I was so tired y'all. I took a freaking nap. I took like pretty much a two hour nap and then woke up and now I'm basically like gonna go to my apartment gym. I just got off the phone with my husband. Um, and y'all can see I have like uniforms right here. My uniforms are dirty. They have like the fake blood on them and I need to wash them because I mean, they're like older uniforms, but like, I don't really want them to be stained because I like the way they fit and um, it should come out probably not after the first wash, but I mean, they're gonna get like fake bloody tomorrow. I just wanna wash them so it's not as bad. And then, yeah, that's really it y'all. I've been so lazy, so tired. It's just been, I don't know, but yeah, that was pretty much my day. I got to wash these freaking uniforms I was talking about. Look. The top, the top is like not that bad. It's just basically on like the wrist. Yeah, but um, I'm about to just throw them in wash them really quick nothing special i just don't want them to be like super bad when i go to wash them after the fact and i know they say wear like uniforms that are bad and the pants kind of suck like the pants are they have like stains on them so i'm not like super concerned about the pants but the top this is like one of my better tops i've just been wearing it because it's like the most comfortable and Obviously, when I do like training, I don't want to be in a freaking uncomfortable ass uniform. So. Okay, y'all. Um, I have the uniform going. I just fed Vader. I'm about to shower and then eat something for dinner myself. Um, thank you guys for watching. It's pretty much just been my weekend and then a look into the beginning of my week i have one more day of training which is tomorrow and it's like a test out day so it's gonna be nothing special and then um on wednesday i have to go back to regular work so wednesday i'll be back at the hospital going to work 